Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys. And this time, if you miss BotCon, want to go to BotCon, or just have an interest in BotCon, this is going to be some pretty good news. This is coming from Carl Hartman, and this whole message you can find on AllSpark.com. For anyone who's hesitant, you can check out the BotCon social media, and you can check out the BotCon official website to find out that this is 100% confirmed. But I'm going to read the last little bit of this message, because it's the most relevant part of this video um, that I'm talking about, but I do definitely recommend going through the entire message because it talks about the history of BotCon, the fact that BotCon uh, 2016 wasn't even going to be the first time that they were going to close down because as you guys know, BotCon 2016 was supposedly for the longest time the last BotCon that we would ever get because they cancelled it. So I'm going to read the last little bit, but again, I definitely recommend you guys check it out because it talks about the history and, and just the passion behind it. Um, so that's going to be linked down in the description below, but I'm going to start off with uh, what they say about ending BotCon. Saying goodbye to BotCon was one of the hardest things that we've had to do because of all the memories that were made there and all of the friends that were met for the first time there. BotCon was going to end only to exist in pictures and in our hearts, minds, and memories. It was the end. Question mark. The question mark meant hope. It meant... I'm sorry. It meant hope. Remember, hope is a good thing. Maybe the best if things and no good thing ever dies. It just takes a five-year break. As it turns out, Simon Furman was right after all of these years. It never ends. The story of BotCon is not over. It just has a new chapter. On behalf of myself, Brent Lavelle, Andrew Hall, and the rest of the PC production crew, I am honored and humbled to announce BotCon 2021. Yes, it's official, BotCon is coming back. Now, I never went to BotCon personally, and you're probably thinking, why am I excited for BotCon? Well, even when you didn't go, you got to hear about all these announcements and toy reveals because they would be leaked online. It would be a big deal even if you weren't there. And if you were there, it seemed like such a great time. You got to meet a whole bunch of people who are into Transformers as well as some of the voice actors and people behind your favorite episodes and series and whatnot. Um, it was a major deal, um, especially for announcements and all this. Um, so, you know, ask anyone who went to BotCon. It, it's a great time. So, if you could get to BotCon, I, I think you should. Um, not to devalue any of the, um, you know, unofficial um, Transformers-themed conventions, because there's a lot of good ones, but BotCon was like the major one that you could go to. So, with that out of the way, what do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. And I'm also going to link their official Discord, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. With that out of the way, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all this fun do that, and I will see you guys next time.